former American cop at the Thai-Cambodia border. So you be very careful out there. He's part of a covert international team. Civilians working with Cambodian and Thai investigators. Codename Gatewater. OK, keep going. Don't let him stop. Mission, find smugglers of rare and endangered animals. Catch their illegal sales on tape. Is your camera turned on? And bring the authorities down on them. Well, we're headed to the residence of one of the target traders. And the idea this morning is to send our informant in. He's wired up with a Sting undercover camera. The guy running the undercover ops here at the border is Manny Medina, a retired US Fish and Wildlife agent. He knows the risks. Potentially, it could be very dangerous when you're talking about people that make thousands of dollars off of wildlife. They like their money. And if for any reason they find out that you're a cop, they could hurt you or worse. The man taking the biggest risk is Manny's undercover operative. Don't let the camera be seen. He goes by the name Nixon. His identity must remain concealed. I met Nixon last year. He's a pretty good uh, individual to work with. He seems to be conscientious. He wants to do the right thing. Is he a little shady? Yeah. But then, you know, to make to be a good informant, you have to have been involved in it at some point, which he was. He's given us a lot of good information, and we're hoping that uh, with his information, we'll eventually make some, some good arrests in this area. The team is zeroed in on a major smuggling organization run by a shadowy figure, possibly an ex-military man known as Jatong. The team is trying to buy illegal wildlife from two of his dealers. Today's target, named Tachui. They hope the small dealers will lead to the big one. Investigators say dealers will trade in whatever they can get their hands on. They'll kill a bear for its paws or a tiger for its skin. This team is focused on traders in small animals, little creatures that fetch enormous prices, cobras, turtles, and today's target, pangolins, little armadillo-like creatures. Highly sought after and extremely valuable, so the guys down on the ground, they are eager to collect these things, sell them on up the line. Because of over-collection, if something doesn't happen, they could possibly be extinct in not too many years. In China, pangolins are in great demand. They are considered a delicacy. Their meat is often used in the biggest celebrations and the most exotic dishes. Their scales are ground up for traditional medicine and believed to be an aphrodisiac. It really disgusts me because I think everybody that's dealing in them knows that pangolins are in very short supply. In other words, they know that they're wiping them out and they don't really seem to care. They just keep on doing it. 